There is one substance in the universe that makes life possible on this planet. The very essence we are made of. 70% of our Earth is covered in it, which includes seas and oceans. Its life-giving chemistry has nurtured us for billions of years. The beauty of our water is beyond description. Qatar is a country that deeply understands the importance of this unique natural resource, water. Since the early 1900s, the economy of Qatar has depended on the sea for fishing and pearl hunting. This was the lifeblood of the country until the discovery of oil and gas in the 1940s. Today, Qatar is one of the world's strongest and fastest growing economies. It's the world's largest supplier of natural gas and the wealthiest nation per capita on planet Earth. Managing this rapidly growing economy is a challenge in itself, as it needs to be done in a sustainable, responsible and efficient way. Thinking to the future, the government of Qatar created a 20-year plan, the Qatar National Vision 2030. Its goal is to ensure future generations can continue to live in prosperity in an environmentally sustainable nation. One of the biggest and most important projects of the Qatar National Vision 2030 is the creation of one of the world's largest greenfield port developments. Strategically located south of Doha, it includes the Hamad Port, a new base for the Qatar Emiri Naval Forces and the canal for Economic Zone 3, which spans an area of 28.5 square kilometres. As per the Newport Project Steering Committee objectives, the Hamad Port will support the nation's ambitious expansion strategies, as Qatar's imminence in the sphere of global business grows from strength to strength. Throughout the design and construction of the Hamad Port, the Newport Project Steering Committee has worked to ensure the economic benefit the Newport provides is equally balanced with the preservation, conservation and enhancement of the environment. Hamad Port is considered to be one of the most vital infrastructure projects in Qatar. Newport Project Steering Committee worked closely with the project consultants to ensure the development and mapping of a detailed environmental strategy to overcome and minimise environmental issues, as per His Highness the Emir of the State of Qatar's directives. In fulfilling this directive, the project team's first goal was to design the port to avoid these environmental hotspots both on land and in the sea. However, the very fact a port must be located along a coastline to facilitate maritime transport meant some of the sensitive habitats just couldn't be avoided. Hummet Port team worked on implementing an integrated solution protecting the environment that includes, among others, stilling basins to refine the water, independent oversight of construction activities, as well as the relocation of seagrass, hard and soft corals and mangroves. The relocation program has proven to be a huge success. 11,595 hard corals and 562 soft corals have now been relocated and after three years, studies show 78% of them survived. 14,257 square metres of seagrass was also relocated, with a survival rate of 55%. While 31,656 mangrove plants and trees have been moved, with over 99% of them surviving the relocation process. And they continue to thrive in their new home. The health and survival of the relocated species were monitored continuously, and the survival rates after three years are impressive and considered as an achievement for Hummet Port Project. 
mangroves are an amazing plant. They get all of their water needs directly from the sea they live in. But they also play a very important role in the environment. Mangrove forests act as a coastal buffer, offering protection from storms, floods and tsunamis. Mangrove estuaries are also breeding and nursing grounds for many marine organisms such as shrimp, crabs and fish. They are even vital to the air we breathe, as they have five times larger carbon storage capacity than rainforests. In the history of Qatar, these mangrove habitats have also provided people with a valuable resource which could be used for food, energy and shelter. That was why it was so important to identify the mangrove areas that would be affected by construction and try and save as many of the plants as possible for future generations. The operation swung into action. During the fruiting season in September and October, the teams collected over 23,000 fruits from over 100 trees in the affected areas. They were then planted in a dedicated nursery and left to grow over the winter. The seedlings were then transferred to the intermediate nursery close to the relocation site. Seedlings were also taken from the affected areas and housed in the nursery until they were ready to be replanted in their new home. The relocation operation also provided a great opportunity to conduct a detailed study of the unique root structure of mangrove seedlings. Finally, the seedlings were ready to be replanted in their new home, well away from the construction of Hummet Port. Over the past three years, more than 31,600 mangrove seedlings, plants and trees have been relocated, with less than 1% of all the plants being lost in the process. It was a long and complicated process, but at the end of the day, the value placed on every one of these mangroves goes to show a deep commitment from Hummet Port toward the marine environment. Further out to sea, there was another challenge for the team, protecting the delicate coral ecosystems that are vital to the survival of planet Earth. Coral ecosystems provide food, shelter, spawning and nursery grounds for fish. These fish provide jobs and income to local economies in the areas of fishing, recreation and tourism. They are also an important source of new medicines, some that are still to be discovered. It was decided everything must be done to save those coral areas that could not be avoided during the construction of the port. A two-phase operation began. Phase one involved relocating the hard corals. Specialised divers were called in to collect the delicate coral heads from the seabed. It was a painstaking process, with eight different species of hard coral collected piece by piece. Transferred to the relocation site, then attached to the artificial reef using a specialised sea cement. Everything was done to ensure the best chance of survival for the coral. A similar technique was implemented for the collection of soft corals. Phase two of the coral project involved the construction of artificial reefs designed to naturally attract future coral growth. 576 artificial reef balls have been placed on the seabed around Hummet Port. The artificial reef balls have been a huge success, attracting a wide variety of fish as the coral continues to grow at a steady pace. Finally, the team turned its attention to the seagrass, which is also a vital part of the marine ecosystem, as it provides food, habitat and nursery areas for numerous vertebrate and invertebrate species. 
This unassuming plant performs many functions, such as stabilising the sea bottom and helping to maintain water quality. At Hummet Port, there were two main grasses, Haloduli uni nervus and Halophila stipulacea. Divers took extra special care when collecting the grass. They had to ensure the root systems were intact. Once out of the water, they were immediately submerged in containers filled with seawater. Over 50 days, more than 14,000 square metres of seagrass was collected and relocated. Three years later, and more than half of the seagrass that was replanted has survived. And over time, this grass will continue to grow and spread across the sea floor. The Seagrass Relocating Project is considered as one of the largest in the world. But the port's commitment to the environment does not end there. Stilling basins were constructed and operated during the dredging operations to ensure that water returned to the sea is clear and free from turbidity. Dirty water will have an adverse effect on marine life and their habitats. Another environmental initiative of Hummet Port is the reuse of all the rock material excavated from the port basin. Over 70 million cubic metres has been reused to transform the subca surrounding the Hummet Port basin into land which can now be used for industry and commercial purposes. During the construction of Hummet Port's green and environmentally friendly buildings, different criteria were taken into consideration, such as the conservation of water and electricity, ensuring all contractors are using recycled materials, maximising the sourcing of building products from local and regional manufacturers, and ensuring paints used are with low emissions. Added to this, the water was treated and used for irrigation. Waste recycling was also a priority. As part of the development of Hummet Port, 25 kilometres of natural rock breakwaters were built in the sea. While the preliminary purpose is coastal protection, a major environmental benefit is the habitat they provide for fish and marine life. Many environmental monitoring systems have been employed across the Hummet Port project site, monitoring air, soil, groundwater, noise, vibrations, marine water, land and marine flora and fauna, and coastal processes. All of the data gathered from the monitoring systems helps ensure the project continues to comply with all of the Ministry of Municipality and Environment environmental performance requirements. The opening of the port will also provide environmental benefits which extend beyond the port itself. Freight will now be diverted from downtown Doha and the Corniche, which means a large number of trucks will be removed from Doha roads, easing traffic congestion and improving air quality and transport within the city, while achieving the Ministry of Transport and Communications goals. Hummet Port Project achieved the largest Smart and Green Friendly Project Award at the Sea Trade Award Ceremony, which took place in the United Arab Emirates in November 2016. The sea's oceans are the largest ecosystems on Earth. They are one of the most important life support systems for our planet. At any given moment, more than 97% of the world's water resides in oceans. To survive and prosper, we need healthy oceans. Hummed Port is a shining example for the world of how protecting and nurturing the environment for future generations does not have to be at the expense of development. With the opening of Hummet Port for Business, Qatar has positioned itself as a powerhouse in the region. A mega greenfield project that sets another milestone in achieving the great Qatar 2030 national vision. Hummet Port, Qatar's gateway. Connecting the world 
Connecting the Future.